Oh my god. I have a piece of hair in my mouth. What's up? Love bugs. I hope you're having a good morning or night whenever this video may reach you. Do your girl a favor, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can get that thing, thing, thing whenever I upload a new video. So um, we haven't done a Starbucks chat in a while because y'all know the weather has been crazy. But for some reason, I feel like the last times I've done one of these, it's always been raining outside. Like it's raining right now. And um, yeah, you know, we just have an open discussion so we could literally talk about anything under the sun. Hey, Jay the Illuminated. Hey, Unique. Hey, Faith. What's going on? Everybody up in here, um, make sure you pay the entry fee on the way to my house. Hit the like button. What's up, Only Zone Alarm? Hey, Cynthia to Demi. Hey, God's Anointed. Hey, Shatara. Hey, Trace. Vivian. She did. I didn't see it, but we are going to have an official show later on today, so I will um do some research and look into it and see what's going on hey jasmine hey lauren hey chantel everybody up in here right now hit the like button so if it's 27 of y'all it should be 27 likes yeah tia kip is crazy as all well outdoors i've been seeing her on tiktok and i'm just like oh my gosh she's crazy bring me some i'm still working yes make that money no power. Oh, that sucks. Hi, my nomad journey. I would like a Vogue like interview. Twenty one questions. You want to ask me twenty one questions? <laughs> um, like an interview. I mean, email me. I can't type in a chat, but I always put my email and everything in the um the comment section well not the, the description section under all of my videos so you can send me an email but since we are on a, a open live you could ask me some questions now and I can answer a couple questions I'm so mad I don't have like my table tripod I don't want to have to sit up here and hold this dang on phone the whole time I have a bag with me maybe what's going on with the Oscars just hold this up. Dang, I don't have nothing sturdy. Hold up, let me see something. Maybe I could use my coat. Let's see. If I could use this to hold up the phone. Sorry. Okay, there we go. That seems to work a little something, something. I'm so pretty. Thank you, babe. I look like a sexy therapist. Thank you. I remember um, when Storm saw me, when we had linked up in the airport, he was like, you look like a sexy teacher or like a sexy librarian, because I had on glasses. Y'all do know that I actually wear prescription glasses. I don't wear them all the time. These aren't prescribed though, but my other glasses that y'all see me wear, they have a little little tiny smidge of a prescription. <laughs> so when I be squinting trying to read the screen, <laughs> it really legit be because I can't see. <laughs> or I can see, but I feel like sometimes like words, it like starts to look blurry a little bit. Or like if it's really small, like I I I be like. <laughs> hey Mia, what's up, boo? How you feeling, Mia? How do I feel about Mayor Adams? I don't know, I don't really be into um, politics like that, but I feel like I may need to because 2024 is an election year. So I don't know, would y'all wanna hear me talk about politics? Miss Netta made it to TGIF, I didn't see that. But we all gonna talk about Miss Netta and Charles had the nerve to do some little talk on his live and he sounded like he was a part of the red pill community so we definitely going to talk about that in tonight's show 
Yes, everybody up in here, pay the entry fee. Hit the like button. I don't know why y'all playing these games. But I have to make an appointment because the sister can't see the table. <laughs> Just getting the chance to watch the live you did about the Claire man and the melanin rich baby girl. Yep, Nikki Jean, it was crazy. Um, set the phone on. I have it. It's wasted. See, my hands are free. I use my jacket. So I think Trump will win. Possibly. Hey, Pamela. Possibly. You think I should cover politics? I, you know, I just feel like politics and religion is tricky, so sometimes people get up in arms. However, um, one of my, I guess you could call him a friend. He like, he's like a clear man. He's a seasoned gentleman, a business owner. Um, he's always like, you need to talk about politics. And I'm just like, I don't know, but I, I would have to figure out how to remain neutral while maybe reporting on a couple things that's going on. So maybe if I could like, you know, get good with doing that and not seeming like I'm on either side. But then it's kind of like when you do give social commentary, people want to know your take. They want to know how you feel, you know, and I'm not Candace Owens by any means. So I don't know how I feel about that. but. They made a Miss Cleo movie, for real? I heard that they was, but I didn't know that it actually came out. Yeah, I don't understand how the likes is not matching the viewers. Everybody up in here just hit the like button. We need to get in the algorithm, because a lot of people are constantly saying, I didn't get notified. YouTube is playing with the notifications, and it has a lot to do with engagement one so i appreciate you guys commenting but even after some of the lives are over you could just drop me a pink heart and hitting the like button even if you dislike it hit one of them buttons it is a, it is mia it is that's why i'm like mm. yes yeah, shatari you hit the like button good that part. Is the music really loud? Damn, I'll be trying to like do shows while I'm out, but I don't want to get a copyright strike. So today has been like a weird day for me. Like I'm very op optimistic. Um, even when I'm going through BS, like I'm, I, I work really hard to maintain like positivity and to be like zen. But I've been feeling kind of off today. I don't know what it is. I, I know the, the winter and the, the weather has a lot to do with it, but I haven't been having the great, I didn't have the greatest start to my day. So y'all just sometimes just have an off day and don't be feeling it, like not feeling my greatest. I don't feel like I even want to be bothered. Like. <laughs> And I don't even know if I would say that I feel sad or upset. Like, I don't know how to explain how it is. That I'm, I think it's the weather. I do think it's the weather, Mia. I think it's the weather. Because I just feel like, ugh. Yeah, it's the energy. It is. It's something that's off. And I'm like, dang, like, you know. Because when I was younger, I used to be, like, in and out of depression a lot. But, you know, as a grown up, I don't really be, I don't live, I don't like to dwell. Um, I've been gathering tools in my imaginary toolbox to help me out of ruts. You know, I'm just really good with like realigning myself, should I say, but I don't know what it is about today. Folks have been saying today is out of order. Oh, so I'm not the only one. It's just, it's a vibe, it's an energy, it just doesn't, I don't know what's, what's going on today. Is this planet? <laughs> Where's that mothership? I don't know. I don't know, but I know we will have a full moon tomorrow, I believe. Hey, Rihanna, what's up, boo? I don't know, but it's all good. And it's very gloomy. Yes, it's so gloomy. Earth is ghetto. <laughs> 
What you think about the Stanley Cup obsession? Do you think people are losing their mind? It's ridiculous. I think people are just consumers. People buy into fads and people are easily programmed. You know, when the media tells you something that is cool and you need to have it and they promote it to you as the best product on a market, then everybody's losing their mind. Well, you can literally go to Five Below and get a cup just like a Stanley Cup for five dollars. So I We're gonna have our days it happens. It's not roses all the time, but I swear since I've been older it's been a lot better, I feel you. Yes. Yes a lady said that. A nine year old is getting bullied because she don't have a Stanley Cup. What? They going to crazy for an adult sippy cup. Ooh, Stanley Cups have lead in them. Ooh. I just got done telling someone how everyone is obsessed with the Stanley Cups. Mm -mm. I'm just so glad that I marched to the beat of my own drum. And I really don't care about what anybody else says is cool. I determine what I think is cool in my life. You live in Five Below. Five Below be having some cute stuff. I like Five Below. I love your hair. Thank you. It's not brushed and I didn't flat iron it. So maybe I might meet a, um, a older gentleman suitor. You know how they be saying it, hard wig, soft life. <laughs> hard wig, soft life. So I'm the perfect candidate right now for um, a wealthy Claire man. <laughs> I'm so confused about the Stanley Cup. Always been different. That part, I'm trying to get my youngest to realize it's okay to be different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hardwick soft line. Um. Oh. Speaking to existence. Can you speak me up 12? I want a wealthy clear. Oh, speak me up one too. That's what you mean, okay. Girl. Well, it's too early. They ain't getting off work right now, but. Um, did y'all see how um, they're saying that um, the millennial, the, the Gen Z, well, they're saying that Gen Z is Asian like milk. But Gen Z's are the one who started talking about millennials, like going hard. Can't keep a millennial out of their mouth. And now Gen Z is on TikTok bashing millennials. Like, oh, millennials are delusional. Like this one girl saying that we think that we look younger than teenagers. Nobody ever said that we look younger than teenagers. I'm like, now y'all are stretching it. I had to leave a comment in her comment section. Like, and if y'all seen this girl, she's a pretty girl, but she looks my age, like. And she's only 22. Like, I'm not. So, it's not even me, like, bashing anyone for their life. I, first of all, I don't even, I just watch. Like, I don't really get into the conversation like that. But I think I might. I really need to get more active on TikTok. Because, honestly, I feel like I could probably go viral on TikTok if I talk on TikTok the way I talk on YouTube. <laughs> so, maybe I'll make a video about millennials aging. You know, maybe I'll do that today. But they, they've been going hard making these videos, like, who told millennials they oh they they calling us the elders and the aunties? I'm like, elder is like stretching it. You could call me an auntie. I technically am an auntie, so that's okay. But an elder, like, and they really do look older. A lot of them do. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like my little brother, I got a little brother that's in high school. I see some of his high school peers, and I be like, how old? She 14, 15? Where? 16 who? They look they look very mature. A lot of them look very, very mature for their age. I'm an elder. It's their food. It's their food. I hope this power come back on. Yes. That's how they be looking. They hating on us. I look young for someone who's turning 30 soon. Gen Z look pregnant now. <laughs> they got stretch marks. <laughs> Oh my God, they do too much when it comes to skincare. They, that is hilarious. 
But I'm just like, dang, like y'all don't have to attack. They they be really, they are so obsessed with millennials. It's cra It's kind of creepy. Like, and before the whole aging thing, the only reason why this even started is because Gen Z is obsessed with millennials. Like they always making videos about millennials, about how we dress, about how we think we're cool and we're, we don't know what the trends are and this and that and the third. And I'm just like, I see a lot of these girls in these videos and they look my age. Like I, if we were in the same room together, you would not know that one was 20 and the other one was a 30 something. Like, <laughs> not even trying to be funny. I think it's because we had a childhood and they didn't, they want, they want to grow up fast. Hey love, yep, they look stressed out. They look every bit of 40 in the face. A lot of them do. And this guy, well, I'm, we're gonna be, we'll get more in depth when I come back later. But this guy said it's because Gen Z is raised on hormones, but we were raised on preservatives. And I was like, that's an interesting take. Hey, millennials, welcome to the party they was on y'all. Whatever, Mia, you know you a millennial, too. Timbaland has auditions on TikTok, okay. They don't know life without internet and social media. And this is why I honestly think that millennials should run the world. Like, hear me out, hear me out. Millennials, we have the best of both worlds. Like, we literally, we grew up where... People had cell phones. I think I had my first cell phone when I was in middle school, but it wasn't like no hot phone. It was like a phone that you had to put minutes on. You know what I'm saying? Then once I was like in high school, like you had the phone that was free after a certain time. Like you, the phone bill was going up. We didn't have that unlimited, like it didn't give that. But as a little, little kid, there was pay phones. Like people, you know, like you went outside. You didn't just stay in the house on a video game all day. Like you didn't have a tablet put in front of you so that you could leave your parents alone. No, they told you to go your ass outside. So we had to live like real life. You Gen X, but you see Mia, and now I would've thought you was a millennial. It's because we look good. Point proven. Point proven. Yeah, exactly, and we didn't, we, we, but we, we grew up like with the dawn of the technological social media era. So I really feel like millennials should be running the world, to be quite honest. I really do. Playing a monkey ball, yes. I'm always told I look 30 something, but I'm in my middle 50s. That part. They don't know life without the internet and social media. That part. Nah, unfortunately, the boomers are running away. And I don't think they should be. They're so out of touch. Like, I really feel like. Ooh, let me stop touching my face. My forehead is itching. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch it. <laughs> okay. Um, so I want I did I want I wanted to talk about that, but I also wanted to talk about so when I was walking here, right, this guy, this African guy that's right next to me made me think about it because he's talking real loud and his accent is real heavy. So I'm walking right and I'm on the phone. Well, I got a headphone in. And I have AirPods, I just, I lose them, and I'm tired, like they're too expensive, I, I ain't got time, so I just, and I like the microphone on this, especially for doing content, because I know people be, oh, why you got headphones with the wire? Because I do, leave me alone. I might get another pair of AirPods if and when I feel like it, or if somebody buys me another pair. <coughs> but, um, so I'm walking, you know what? and... I called yesterday, they sent me a little bit. How does that? So I'm walking, it's raining. I have my umbrella up, right? I'm walking. And this guy asked if he could get under my umbrella with me. And I said, no, like, absolutely not. 
But he didn't just ask, like he was like trying to duck under my umbrella with me and I moved away and we're crossing the street. So this is like dangerous, like we're crossing the street. Granted we have the light, but what if the light changed while we're crossing and I'm having to duck and dodge and like, so he was saying something else and I was like, oh, I'm on the phone with my husband. It doesn't matter who I was on the phone with. I do this all the time and I don't want to be bothered. Sometimes they don't give a damn because clearly this man continued to talk. Once we get to the other side of the street, he's like, oh, mind you, he has like a security uniform, which I don't care what he had on. He could have had on Balenciaga. You're not going to come. Speaking of, we got to talk about that too with Kim because I don't know what she's smoking. Is it crack? Anyways. So he tries to get under my umbrella. So he's talking to me. He has on a security guard outfit. He's like, oh, look, showing me like, look, I have my own umbrella. I'm like, okay, that's good. You know? So then... We're walking, and he's like, oh, let me tell you a story. He has this heavy, thick African accent. So I'm like, not really trying. I'm like, I'm, I'm on the phone. Continues to talk. Completely disregards the fact that I'm on the phone. Does not give a damn that I'm not interested. So he's like, oh, let me tell you a story. There was this rich man that went out in the world, and he dressed like a commoner. And he went around, and he asked people for help, but no one wanted to help him. And then he came back dressed as his normal self, and he was able to give out money and help everybody else, but he did not help the people that decided not to help him. I said, sir, I don't care if you rich, I don't care what you're talking about. First of all, a lot of them be lying, talking about their kings and back in their country and they got mansions and gold and they be lying. Cause they, we ain't got no way to, to verify that. I done had an African guy from Senegal lie to me and tell me he was a business owner and show me pictures of a, a business that my clear friend owns, but I didn't know that at the time. Anyways, that's the end of it. So I'm like, sir, I don't care about that. Like, you're a stranger. You're trying to get under my umbrella. That is very uncomfortable. That is very awkward. And it's very invasive and inappropriate. I, would, I don't care if you was Bill Gates. You're not getting, well, especially Bill Gates. Hell, hell no. But I wouldn't care who you are. You're not going to get under my umbrella. That is so intimate. So to compare that to somebody trying to help you, you didn't ask me for a dollar because you was hungry. You wanted to get close to me and be up on my body. Let's call a spade a spade. That had nothing to do with me helping out the, the, the poor or giving back to the needy because y'all know that I do that. I done told y'all the stories about me giving back to people and then even the homeless men be trying to get my number. I just don't know what it is, but a lot of these men be having the gall, the balls, okay? Uh, men could be so manipulative, guys. Manipulative to the umpteen. Yeah, yeah, How come people get on here and say certain things, but we can't? How do they get away with saying things without the comment having to be held for review? I don't know. Maybe it's like trigger words and stuff. Come on, stop saying that she is not. What? Who's saying that I'm unalive and a kid? If he had an umbrella, why he needed to get into yours? That part is not debatable. Her money is going to a genocide. What is y'all talking about? Oh, because I'm in Starbucks. Oh. My money is, uh, whatever. He just probably thought he was being charming. Yeah, that part. Trying to get under your umbrella. I told y'all I'm not really into politics. Like, I don't even know what these people are talking about. I don't support any of that type of thing. I mind the business that pays me. Now, if this is looking like I'm taking a political stance, that is not my intention. It's not my intention at all. And that's all I can say. Uh, I was just trying to schedule an appointment for a homeless person and he says you sound sexy what's up with you <laughs> they really be shooting a shot oh my god does he know how loud he is boy what's for would have closed my umbrella and be like oops it broke tell him he on youtube we can't <laughs>
I'll do that. 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 Stop drinking children's blood. Have shame. Oh my God. Yeah, so. Oh. So, um. Send me your email address. Let me push back to you so that you apply it. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Mia, don't just say unaliving, boo. Don't even say K I L L I N G. Say unaliving. Because if this video could be monetized, I would like for that to be the case. Because YouTube have been trying to play in my face. I don't know what's going on with my accents. But why is my face like my nose is itching? I don't know what's going on. What in the world? Rihanna, I don't know either. I, I guess it's like. Some political thing. I don't know. I, I don't really read into that. Maybe, maybe I need to do some research. I don't know. But I like Starbucks every now and then. I didn't know that Starbucks had was doing that. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Absolutely. Oh my God, what is going on? Hey, shouts out to England. See, this is why my Claire friend is always telling me I need to get into politics. I'm like, I don't know if I wanna do that to my channel. <laughs> I don't wanna turn. Like, I'm, I'm, I feel like, honestly, like I'm still building and I don't want to jeopardize, like, me building this channel as big as I can, trying to give my views on political things, you know? I don't know. What's that TikTok when they were like, I don't give a F about poor people? Oh, my God. No, I absolutely do care about poor people. What Storm would say, medium poor, I'm medium poor. <laughs> so I do care. I absolutely do care. That part, Mia. And I feel like he loves Candace Owens, so he wants me to kind of be like her to some degree. And I'm just like, sir, I'm not Candace Owens. Like, it does not give that. took a break. Now nah, I'm impoverished. <laughs> Mia, I can't deal with you. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Oh my God. You do what pleases you. You can't make anyone happy. Yeah. You know, like, everybody's always trying to tell me what to do, especially once when I first started doing the Love Jones show. I had a friend that doesn't want to be my friend anymore, which I really don't give a damn because he's mad for a bunch of reasons. But he's like, oh, it's because you be saying things because I'll be telling my friends and any, I tell my mother this. Don't be trying to put my business out there. Don't expose me. Don't try to use me. Like, I need to be able to trust you. I say this all the time. And when I had a couple drinks, I say it all the time, like, ain't nobody exempt. For whatever reason, he think that he's more special than my mother and that I shouldn't say that to him. And, like, sir, you're not, you're not that important. Like, I'm not, I, like, and it's my fault for making him feel like he was centered in my life because I may have called to begin and was confused. Like, why are you acting like that? Like, and he just, I don't know, like when people feel like you care, they try to act like they're somebody that like, nobody, you're not, like it doesn't give that. You're not that special, you know? But he would be like, oh, you don't need to talk about this. You can't talk about certain things. Then my aunt would be like, oh, you gonna get sued like Tasha K. I'm like, no, I'm not because I'm not up here slandering anybody. I'm not, I, first of all, I don't chase stories. Like y'all don't see me like, trying to break stories. Like I talk about what these people actually put out there. It's just literally me giving my opinion and doing social commentary. I'm not out here trying to break a story. Like that's not what I'm out here really trying to do. 
I don't want to be the first one. Y'all already here first. I don't care about that. I like to talk. I like to give my opinion on things. Um, I know this. I will be content. I will be the content. I'm already starting to be the content, and I'm still growing. My numbers are going to get way bigger, and I'm going to vlog. Like, I'm going to let y'all, yes, y'all are going to be in on my life more, so... I'm not just gonna do social commentary forever. It's, no, like at some point it's gonna give like, yeah. I'm gonna have a camera crew following me around. Like that's what this is gonna turn into eventually. But you know that and then like I had my father telling me all, all I do is gossip on the internet. And I'm like, okay, don't watch. If it's not your cup of tea, then don't watch. You don't know. Not near one of them know shit about building a YouTube channel. And I had to ask each of them individually, have you ever built a YouTube channel? They said no. I said, have you ever like watched someone personally that you know build a YouTube channel? They said no. I said, okay, that's all I needed to know. You don't know what you're talking about. That part, Mia, yes. Mia, you're not wrong. You're not. It is to empower us. And I give my opinion on things that's going on in pop culture and in the world. And we also talk about things that's viral. You know, like on TikTok, we talk about real accounts from actual people. I'm not only just talking about celebrities either. And my whole thing is, like, I feel like people don't watch the entirety of my show. Like, you just see, like a couple minutes here or there, or you watch a thumbnail. But if you watch the whole show, like we literally, I do readings at the end. We have gratitude hour. I have a, I get my motherfucking Miss Cleo on. Like. Oh, baby, baby, I'm dancing with a stranger. This is to be my fucking song. Hopefully y'all can't hear it too loud because I love you for being strong and doing you. Thank you, Unique. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys. What's PW? Wow, well, be your own people, yeah. But it's because they don't understand. And the thing is, I've always been the one in my family and in my friend group to do something completely different from everybody else. So they don't get it. Everything I've always done has seemed weird and like out of the way or just like different, quirky. I just never was regular. Never dressed regular, never had regular normal aspirations as everybody else. And it's not to say that what I'm doing or who I am is like completely only exclusive to me. I'm just saying like from where I grew up, the people that I'm surrounded by, my family, like I'm the only one like me in my family. If that makes sense. Oh, and somebody new. Oh, baby, baby, I'm dancing with a stranger. I love when you have shit here. Thank you. We appreciate you and the environment you created. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad that I have you guys too, because having, you know, talking to you all made me feel a little better, because I don't know what that energy was earlier, but I, it was. I wasn't feeling the greatest. You inspired me to make my own affirmation cards. <laughs> they don't know the real. Exactly. So my father like, oh, you need to do this and that. I said, sir, this ain't, you don't know shit about what I'm doing. Respectfully. Don't ever take advice from people that you would not want to trade places with. Don't ever take advices from people, advices. Don't ever take advice from people that are not where you want to be in life. Don't ever take advice from people that's not going where you want to go. I've had people that try to tell me about relationships and what to do with a man. Ma'am, I would never date the men that you've dated. I wouldn't even take my earrings off for the men that you're talking to. Who are you to tell me anything about how I need to conduct myself in a relationship or what I need to be doing with a man? You can't keep one and the ones that you keep ain't worth shit. It'd be that part. And this is why 
I never strictly was like, let me do strictly just dating content. Even though I was talking about dating zodiac signs, but like dating, like let me tell you how to get a man. Like I know how to do that, but I'm not married yet. And I'm not in a fully committed relationship. And I feel like, why would you take advice from me like, if I'm not showing y'all proof of how I did it? You get what I'm saying? Like, if I'm not sitting up here like, this is my man right here. We've been together umpteen. This is how I got him. This is how we got together. If I can't do that, why the fuck should you listen to me? All of these relationship gurus, all of these people that have these podcasts talking about what a man bring and what a... Like, man, y'all, not, not, none of y'all is married. Or even have a successful rap sheet when it comes to the opposite sex. So what qualifies them to sit up here and give advice? I just... Uh, now, I could tell you what to stare clear of. I could tell you to have values and to not allow no man to have you scrubbing around. I could say leave the ghetto toxic circus because those are things that I have done. I could tell you how to d practice the art of detachment and how to get the fuck on. And I could tell you how to, you say no, I say next. Tell me one, no, one good time, I'm gonna go get it somewhere else and then I might just stay over there for a little while. I can tell you how to do that. But what I look like sitting up here, oh, let me tell you how you get married. And I'm not fucking married, ain't never been married. Y'all will be looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> Y'all will be looking at me like I was crazy. Like, girl, you, 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 where is your husband? Now when I get one, then I'll do that type of content. I'll. I could niche down on that type of content, you know? Build a whole new page just specifically talking about that. But for now, like, girl, bye, hang it up, flat screen. Right, experience is a good teacher, that part. Yo, what's going on? Well, smoking is so true. Like, pearly things, that part. Pearly things ain't nobody, she, first of all, she doesn't even present feminine to me. So for her to always be talking about men love a feminine, and a girl, you are very not resting in femininity. She has a very masculine aura. She just does. Dating could be exhausting, men or something else. It's by choice, see, that true? Right, on that note, that part. You're so sweet, thank you, boo. Punani way? <laughs> what? Um, some men only think they are high value when they get money, as if men who are average don't have women in rotation and four girlfriends. That part, Vivian, we're going to talk about that later too because I've seen two Pick Miana videos. Women totally bashing their own from male validation. And, and it's always the women that's still not getting chose. Like you up here, especially, okay, so this one video that we're gonna play later, I could just tell y'all about it because y'all still gonna tune into the show later tonight, right? So she basically was like, black men need to marry white women because black women don't appreciate them. Black women ain't shit. Black women, um, you know, their mamas be telling them that they need to find a man with money right out the womb. And I'm like, girl, do you not see yourself? And it seems like the the the, the pick 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 Mishas are never the type that these men would ever choose. Since he's still not gonna choose you because you ain't his type. <laughs> Physically, you just not. Off subject, can you please do a video on this black man who hunt oop a Karen while he was chopping cocoa melons? What? You gotta send that to me, um, Jenny. So make it have money, so we corn and this is what I talk to you all about too. We've I've said this multiple times. Just because you have money doesn't mean that you're automatically a man of value. And you see how men place all of their value 
in money and the ability to obtain money. But then when we say we want a man with money, it's like the it's a constant reverse psychology thing going on. If I say I want a man with money, I'm a gold digger, I'm a whore, I'm a prostitute. But then if a man says I'm high value because I make X amount of dollars, doesn't that go neck and neck? I don't get it. Aren't you making this money so that you could attract a certain type of woman? Somebody make it make sense. I just, I, I be so confused. Mia is not playing. She can't be Mia kicking people out of the chat. Mia going to say never buy. Let me show you the door. I don't even know what's going on, but that's hilarious. What's there to appreciate 400 years of slavery? 150 Jim Crow and still counting on being the weakest man in the world. These are the ones that really grind my gears. You don't have your life together yet. You try to control minds. Oh, y'all can, y'all can hear Whitney Houston. Damn. Oh, well, it's all right. These men play too much. We want to want the, them to be stable, not rich, and work on their personalities, that part. And the average man is not rich. The average man will never be high value based on what they say high value is. That and um, I'm so mad at this song is playing. I, like, it's just, I love the song, but I, I did not want to have to like get a copyright strike. So y'all might not turn the monetization on for this song. I mean, for this video, I might have to take it down. But um, what I was saying? Oh, so there was another one where a man was having a, a conversation with somebody. I think it was Paris Milan. I seen it on TikTok though. It wasn't on YouTube. And he basically said, if we want men to be a king, we need to build them up. We need to build these men up to be the kings that we want them to be. Thank you, Unique Babe. Thank you, because yeah, this ain't gonna get monetized with all this music playing in the background. I appreciate you, Pooh. Some women only want a six-figure man, but 15% of Americans make 100K. So these women be Delulu. Lord, everybody is Delulu. So the average man is not high value, such wealthy. No, the average man ain't swirl gang. According to what they consider high value. They're not. A lot of them don't work out. A lot of them have balding and thinning hairlines. A lot of them don't even go to the dentist. A lot of them aren't attractive. Internally, their organs is all out of whack. And they're not making six figures. Like, penises be on fucking gummy worm. And that's why they need a honey pack and a blue pill. Like, let's keep it real. They don't eat healthy. Like, come on. I know this when men choose pick and bees, it's because they know you're so desperate you'll let them manipulate you and abuse you and treat you any kind of way. Most of these men want each other. Yes, Mia, and that brings me back to Miss Netta and Charles, and we are going to talk about that because Charles was sounding like a red pill guy. We're going to talk about that because Miss Netta is a man. Like, let's just call it is what it is, a spade a spade, okay? Listen, love, I was told the same BS about my salon. I'm about to hit the social commentary too. Let, don't let nobody tell you nothing. Who ain't done what you're doing, FYI. My first article on my salon came in. Congratulations. Yeah, I don't listen to people like, you know, I mean, I've taken some advice, but for the most part, even, even professionals, when they give me advice, I take bits and pieces of what I need. But ultimately, I do what my first mind tells me to do because I'm usually right. Sometimes you just need a little bit of confirmation. Sometimes you just need a little bit of something to tweak what it is that you already know. But me doing my show and structuring it this way was solely my idea. Like, I decided that I was going to do social commentary. I decided that, you know, I wanted to center melanin rich women. I decided that I wanted to do affirmation cards. I decided that I wanted to do oracle readings at the end. I seen this in my head like three years ago, 
but I didn't know how to implement it. So I, you know, linked with people that could help me get what I already had in my head. Storm helped me, like, with the software to use, you know, like, he gave me ideas and pointers on thumbnails, um, stuff like that. And just him even opening up his platform to me was a big help. But for the most part, like, if I was taking everybody's advice, I wouldn't be doing a Love Jones show. I wouldn't be cussing as much. I wouldn't be, I seen this video with this woman and I, and I was like, oh my God, it resonated with me so bad. Damn, now they playing Destiny Shout. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting this video monetized. Anyway, so this woman, right? She said, specifically, melanin rich women, if you don't live, if you don't act on your primal instinct, and if you don't live through your primal nature, then you will never have a fully fulfilled life. And I was like, oh my God. You know, because when you hear primal nature, it's like, what would you naturally do? Because we are taught in society to police ourselves, tone check ourselves. You know, like, not say this, not dress this way. And I already started with my style. Like, I wore anything I wanted to wear and I didn't give a fuck. And that had landed me in publications and doing a bunch of stuff. But now, like, you all seeing me is me being in my primal nature. Me cussing, yelling, crying, screaming, hooting and hollering, telling you how I really feel about things. This is me at the fucking core. I did not have the confidence to be, to, to, to do this before. I didn't because I was so hung up on what everybody thought. I was conditioned. I grew up with the mother saying, no, people are saying this about you and people are saying that about you. My family always criticized me. Like I grew up constantly being criticized and ostracized. I was never given a safe space to just be myself. And then like dating men, you know, I'm the type of woman that a lot of men want to try to conquer. So they would say, why do you have to talk like this? Why do you have to use profanity? That's not ladylike. The way that you guys see me is the most authentic I've ever been in my whole entire life. I've never been as real and as raw ever. I done told y'all about being ratchet as all outdoors. Y'all done see me drunk the fuck out. Like this, and I, and I feel so liberated and it, it is such a freeing and a sobering experience because I don't give a fuck. Like I just get to be me. And even when I catch myself saying, damn, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> damn, maybe I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> it doesn't fucking hurt. It doesn't hurt me. I'm not hurting anybody. No one's affected by the decisions that I'm making. And this is another reason why I chose not to be a mother. Not yet, at least, because I knew that I had to get all of these things that have been in here and in here. I had to get it out. It doesn't matter how long it took. When, where, who, it don't matter. Like, I created a world in my mind years and years and years ago, and now I'm starting to live physically in that world. Does that make sense? The policing of women is exhausting, that part. Hey, Mel. A Taurus, we hurt people's feelings because it's true. Yes, I did the same thing. And we feel it. We can tell you we're real and we love it, too. Yeah, y'all didn't see me fighting, Lord. I was so embarrassed about that, but. <laughs> it is what it is. I love when people curse to keep it real. I always look at nature for the truth. The closest thing to the most high is the divine design, in my opinion. I was just telling my daughter that I was just telling my daughter, yeah, that we are not allowed to be upset. Yes, that part. Why is how we dress so scrutinized, but, but they go to tribes in other countries where they don't wear clothes. Bing, 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 ding, ding, Mia, you hit the nail on the head with that one. And I always was told I was extra, me too. I always told you need to tone it down. Like, why are you so loud? Well, I was never really like a loud person, but I looked loud. You know, like my presence was loud. Um, celebrating cheap gossip on the internet, cause that's going to get you checked. <laughs> Yes, I love seeing visions and dreams that have my head come to pass. That part, 
Storm, that ninja. Yeah, Storm is dope. Now women keep proposing. I feel like men are becoming more feminine and women more masculine. That part, all right, let me see. I tried to go back to see what y'all was saying. Hey, love, okay for the Starbucks chat. I like when you chat and a snack in the best. Yes, really wish you did one on one advice sessions. I, 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 I am, and, I, and I'm, I will. It won't be for free though. I got to charge y'all a little something, but it won't be crazy. So I have that in my head too. I'm like, I want to, um, I don't want to, I'm going to. So I figure maybe I could give 30 minutes, a 30 minute conversation. It won't be too expensive. Um, I'm loud, just loud, and I carry myself loud. I get, I just got in trouble at work for being so loud. <laughs> Baby, I'm cash app ready. Okay, Jasmine. Consultations with love, yes. That part. I need to do something with my nails, y'all. Like, they so crunchy. I had to let them grow back in though. Like, look at this one. It's starting to grow back. That's why I can't stand acrylic nails. Look at that. So tacky. Who laughing at my nails? Whatever. <laughs> Dang, I gotta go. Love you, love. Thank you, Mia. Love you too. You was holding it down, yes. Um, will you ever do some kind of meetup, especially something for the girls? Absolutely, Kayla. The thing is, like, I'm gonna need everybody who's not subscribed to subscribe to my channel. I have to build my, you know, we, we getting the numbers up there, so we'll have enough people that will want to come. Hi, Haley. Did you see the video about the white boy and the black baby? New Diamond, what, are you talking about the adoption? I did a whole live on it yesterday, and I did a couple segments within videos throughout the last past couple days. Don't do acrylic so often. Well, this happened because of the physical altercation I got into. But I've been telling y'all I want to do press-ons. So I'm gonna invest in my own like nail kit. I'm gonna buy a good kit off of Amazon. Have you ever did structured gel? No, someone was telling me to get gel, but I'm like, my nails aren't long enough to get like just a gel manicure. I don't know, maybe I could try that and it'll help to grow this nail out maybe. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like I was Googling and then I saw it put a tea bag on there. I'm like, I don't know. Then I saw people just say like, um, just let it grow back on its own. And it grew out a little bit. It did grow out a little bit. A lot of females will say, I just permanently can get a snatch in the fight and set yourself lucky. Oh. Lord, I'm learning how to do press on suit. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Um, do you think Krishan will ever get it together? Oh, we're going to talk about that later. My friend does nails out in her yoga. Okay. I really just feel like I'm over get letting anybody do my nails. Like I want to learn how to do it myself and just start doing press ons. That's what I really think I'm gonna I'm I keep talking about it, but I need to just do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna order a set this week. Hey Quisha. I just wanted my this nail to grow in more before I put anything on top of it. Cause I don't know what the glue would do. Then I saw someone say put glue on it. Like just put glue on it. And I, so I'm like, I don't know. Love, I'd really be interested in your reactions to extreme political bids because those bids are extremely crazy. -cray. <laughs> we was talking about that earlier. I think that probably was before you came in here. Cash app info, hun. Um, I can't type it in there, but my cash app is dollar sign Love Jones TV. Mel or Vivian, can one of you do me a favor and type my cash app in the chat? Because me is not here anymore. So it's dollar sign Love Jones TV. And then I'll pin it. And thanks, Pamela. That would be really nice. 
or anyone listening, if one of y'all could type it in there for me. Yeah, I've been Googling the glue, Quisha. I haven't. You, thank you, Vivian. I pinned it. So um, I've been looking up everything, like the right glue. Like I got stuff in my TikTok shop. TikTok, TikTok shop. <laughs> so tongue twister. But I feel like I need to let my nail grow in, right? Like, I need to let my nail grow in. And I was just thinking that it was so funny that it was my ring finger. I'm like, is somebody about to put a ring on my finger this year? Because why that nail specifically is jammed up like that? Bringing attention to that finger. Y'all know I think everything is a sign. And I'll write your name. What is this? There's a lot of trolls that be coming up in here. I don't know what it is. It's so early, it's only 427, but it's so gloomy. And it gets dark earlier, so it feels like Like it's mad late. Like that's another thing that I just don't like about winters here. Like I'm so over like tri-state winters. If it's cold, gloomy, but it's from what I heard, it's not. It's kind of cold down south too. Oh, I didn't even see all of y'all was right. Okay. Um, the area I live in is a bunch of stores where you could buy all the professional nail stuff. For real. There's a glue at Sally Beauty. Yes, that's what I've said. That one and a, a glue called KS glue that I was told to order off of Amazon. Don't put a fake nail on it. Don't want to get it. Okay, so I should just leave it. Pink Kiss glue. Okay. Is it true boys only want love if it's torture? So I'm going live at 4.30. Okay, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I will get off of here and we'll head over there. Um, I'm so annoyed because this was such a good live. Or maybe, you know what I'll do? I might have to see if I could edit it, like cut the part out where like the clear music is starting to play so I could at least leave half of it up. Maybe I'll try to do that. Use cuticle oil and tea bags. But I, I Googled the tea bags, but when you do the tea bags, what do you do? Like, do you do you put glue and then put the tea? The tea um, no, I could save the video, but I'll... I'll, I'll because the music is playing in the background, I don't want to get another copyright strike. Because remember when I did the live when I was at the Mexican restaurant, um, I had I ha got a copyright strike, and you're not, you know, you don't want to get too many of those. Um, okay, so when you do the tea bag, how do you do you put the tea bag on there and then put glue? Like, how do you? What do you do? Yeah, Mel, it's crazy. I remember when that did not used to be a thing. Go to urgent care. I don't need to go to urgent care for this nail. <laughs> I done broke a nail before, but it has never been as low, like deep as this one. But I did split a nail before and it just grew back out. But this one was really, really like low. But it's hard, like it doesn't hurt anymore, but they was hurting, it was bleeding. It was, it was bad, y'all. That's another reason why I was crying. My motherfucking nails was burning. <laughs> How was that? YouTube is too much. The nail is chipped glue to tea bag. Oh, okay, so what do I just use? Crazy glue or do I need to use nail glue? So I could just put glue like in the, in the middle, like right here, put some glue and then put the tea bag on top of it. Nail glue, okay. So I'll go into the beauty supply store now and get some nail glue and just glue the tea bag on top. All right, you said the, the Claire women come in my job and do it all the time for splinters. All right, I remember one time when I broke a nail, I was trying to tell them to stop wearing nails for almost a year, it hurt. Kayla, all of my nails was hurt and a couple of them was bleeding and I was, 
imagine both of your fingers and then like I had scratches on my face and my face would burn. <laughs> it, was, it was bad, but I'm good now. And I don't look, I got a little mark here and on top of my lip and like right over here. But for the most part, ain't no crazy damage was done, so. I remember one time when I broke a nail. Yes, I know on Fulton Street, there is the fab store where you get all the oil you soak your hand and then put the gloves right in front of me. Nail glue, then tea bag. Okay, so nail glue, tea bag, and then nail glue again, and file it to shape. Okay, so you just put a little piece of the tea bag. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right now. New diamond, it hurt so bad. It, my hands was burning. And then like, you know, when you take a shower, when you gotta wash dishes, it burned. Like I couldn't even, it was bad. Oh, I have shea butter. Y'all know, well, if you watch my show, you see me put shea butter on my hands every time before I start live, the live. I'm always rubbing shea butter on. Just enough to cover the chip. Oh, okay, so you just put it, all right, so like right here, like right in the middle, basically. All right. It was it was really hard. Like I had the beginning of 2024 was rough for me. I was physically my hands was in pain. <laughs> it's not funny. But I started the new year. I don't know why, but I'm not going to end that motherfucker like this. I know that much. Start wearing gloves to reduce the water damage. That's what I need to do too. I need to get some gloves because I still like I, my dishes. I wasn't really eating that much, and yeah, so because I, I didn't want to touch anything wet, so I was avoiding using my hands. I wouldn't put glue on a split nail, use it, but it's not it's not raw anymore, Kanisha. Like it's hard. Like you see it, it's hard. So it's not like. It's not soft or open anymore, should I say. It was, but it's hard now. You have beautiful dimples. That's perfect. They go with your face. Thank you. How do I wash? I just wash and it just burned. And then I was using a loofah. So I didn't have to like, you know, I was just trying not to use a, a washcloth because the washcloth the whole thing was wet. So I had like a loofah that I would use. But that was it. I'm pretty, always hate on the pretty. You just being you, just choose who you associate with, yeah. All right, watch where you call friends. It's a very lonely road though, when you have to constantly watch people, like damn. But I got y'all, so. Yes, working. I'm doing way, way better. Except for today was a little off for me. But other than that, I'm doing way, way better. So it's Storm Live. We're going to go, um, we're going to head on over to Storm's Live and see what he got going on over there. And then um, I'm going to see if I could keep this up. Like, I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might make it um, private and then I'm going to, has she called you? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can edit the part out where the music really starts to be prominent in the video. But I'm gonna go, you paid your entry fee, yes. Um, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and make sure that you have your notification bells clicked because I'll be back. I'll probably be back in like maybe two, two and a half hours at most. No more than three hours, I'll be back. I'm gonna do like an official show. If you guys have anything that you want to discuss, send it to me in um, the IG DM or email it to me. And shout out to those of you who do, do send me content. Like I always say, I don't be knowing who it is because y'all's usernames on Instagram be different from over here. So if I use something that you sent me, just know that I'm appreciative. I just don't know who to shout out. <laughs> but um, all right, I'll see you guys. Spread love is the Brooklyn way. Oh, I head on over to Storm because someone said that he was live right now, so we're gonna watch.
Thank you, Pamela. I appreciate you too, baby. Thank you for the donation.